Hi everybody, this is Linda, and welcome back to Hands That Cook. We're moving on now with the um, game day <coughs> suggestions. Today we're going to make a cake, and it starts with a box mix. Now I want to tell you that I chose just a plain yellow cake, super moist yellow cake. But you can choose any flavor of cake mix you want. But I'm going to tell you right now, the only thing you're going to follow on here is, you know, they have a um, different types of pans that you can use. And with those pans, it gives specific directions on how to grease it and what temperature to cook it on. And that is all you're going to follow on this, on your box, on your uh, cake box, cake, cake mix. Just the size of pan and the directions that go with it here on how to grease it. You're going to preheat your oven to 350 because that's what my box says. And I'm using a 13 by 9 inch pan. So it tells me that I have to bake this 30 to 35 minutes. Now that's all I'm going to follow on here. The temperature to heat your oven and, uh, and the way to grease the pan and the amount of time it has to cook. Alright, I've got a plain yellow cake. But you don't have to use a plain yellow cake. Use whatever flavor uh, cake mix you want. This is very simple and that's why I chose it for game day. This is called an ice cream cake, but it's not a frozen cake. Alright, so I've got plain yellow. And I chose, you have to use a pint of melted ice cream. And I chose... Uh, New York Super Fudge Chunk by Ben and Jerry's. And in it is chocolate ice cream with white and dark fudge chunks, pecans, walnuts, fudge, uh, fudge covered almonds. And that's what's going to flavor my cake the way I want to. Now, about the ice cream. You want this totally thawed out. I don't mean little thawed spots. I don't mean partially thawed. I, I don't want it cold. Leave it out till it's totally melted and room about room temperature. That's the way you want it. Okay. So this pint, because it takes the whole pint, buy a good ice cream too. You know, buy a good one. Well, and it also takes three eggs. Now, this is the recipe that for the ice cream cake, you're not going to pay a bit of attention to what is on your box. I'm putting my three eggs in. I left these out to their room temperature, although the original recipe that I saw didn't say for the eggs to be room temperature. I just felt like it would be the thing to do, although it may not be. Now, I've already greased my 9 by 13 pan because that's the one I chose to use. Now all I'm going to do, if I can get this open, I thought I opened it, but it's not. There we go. Ooh-wee. Here's my ice cream going in. It is totally melted. Let me get my spatula. I don't want to leave out not one bit of this. I thought I had it out. I'm sorry, y'all. 
I'm going to get all this ice cream out of here. Melted ice cream. And when you buy a pint of it, it's just the right amount, right? And you have your choices of flavors of ice cream and, and what's in them. Remember, this is going to determine how, what your cake tastes like. So there's uh, what's left in the pint. And this is what's left in the top. Now I'm going to mix this, the directions say, two minutes. Now I saw where some people's recipes failed. And I'll bet you they did not let their ice cream thaw completely out. It probably had frozen spots in it or... Uh, just partially thawed out or whatever but we're not going to do that we're going to make sure that this cake turns out perfectly so I'm going to go ahead and mix this for two minutes and then I'll bring y'all back alright I let my, my mix two minutes and about halfway through I scrape the sides down of the bowl all I'm going to do now is put it in my greased 9 by 13 pan. And you you know, you don't have to use the same cake mix and you, you just follow the directions for what it says for which type pan you're going to use to bake this cake in. Hope I, I got you blocked. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Alrighty. Just about got it out here. I wanted you to see the consistency of the batter, which I hope you can see. You can see it, right? I'll spread it out and I don't know if the nuts are gonna and chocolate chunks are gonna separate properly I don't know but it doesn't this is gonna be a delicious cake so somebody might get lucky and get a whole bunch <laughs> and others will just be have to be happy with the taste of an ice cream cake right all right I have preheated my oven because my cake box said to bake it at 350 and the length of time for a 9 by 13 pan so I'm just going to put it in the oven and I'm going to bring it out when it's done <clears throat> and I'm going to let it cool because we're going to make a buttercream icing to go on top but you can't put that on until course the cake is cooled. I see a little bit here. So we'll be back, okay? Alright guys, we're back. The cake is cooled and it looks delicious. I'll show you that in a minute. We're gonna start on our buttercream icing. Now, I already got started. This was two sticks of butter. And if you're across the pond or somewhere else that don't use sticks, uh, it's 16 tablespoons or a half a pound of softened butter. And this butter is salted. I never use unsalted butter, never. All right, you're going to put it in the bowl, the softened butter, and you're going to let it mix for at least five minutes and it's going to look like this. It'll double in size. It'll become a lighter yellow color, maybe even like an off-white and it'll be fluffy and th this has done all of those things. 
So now we're ready to add the powdered sugar or it can be called icing sugar and you must sift it because if you don't you're going to end up with uh, lumps in your uh, in your icing and you don't want that so we're going to add this three cups three cups right alright we're going to add this a half a cup at a time and we're going to let it mix um, a minute one minute between the additions so I'm going to go ahead and get this in and I'll bring you back when we get to the point where we've got to do something else but this is very simple as long as you follow these directions alright I got all that confectionery sugar or icing sugar and put in and I let it be after each half cup addition of the icing sugar I scrape down the sides a couple of times and now I'm not gonna um, use a pastry bag or anything like that we're just checking for consistency now and I think that this is perfect I don't think it's you can see that'll spread on my cake very easily now I got some milk out just in case I needed it if it got real thick but it didn't but the next thing going in because this is all I need now is some vanilla now I know people who just throw things in and don't measure I measure almost almost everything but this vanilla I am NOT gonna measure and I'm usually make a boo-boo too but I'm gonna be very careful put my vanilla in I'm going to beat it till it's incorporated and then we'll be ready to, to ice the cake and Sam will be ready to taste it because this does not cakes already cool and uh, this icing doesn't set I don't think I'm not sure if you wanted to make chocolate buttercream to add a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder that between a fourth and a third of a cup but you're also going to have to add one more cup of sifted um, confectionery sugar to make up for the tartness of the chocolate of the icing off of this. By just lifting the paddle, scrape it down. You don't want to lose any of that icing. Not with a half a pound of butter in it, right? off and 
get off what little bit of icing is left on here. I just don't like to waste anything, guys. And I didn't go through the depression or anything like that, but my mother did. And I got all of this. She never wasted anything. Okay. Take the bowl off. I'm just going to push this mixer back. And pull my cake over here that looks so good. Can you all see that cake? Let me move it out a little bit further and put my beater up in the sink. my hands off guys. Alright, here we go. Can you see how fluffy it is? That is a great icing right there. I'm gonna Spread it down the middle of the cake. And I'll add more if I need to. Icing, that is. Now you can get fancy and use one of those piping bags and make designs, but I'm not going to, and uh, I don't want to, you know, this is game day, I don't want to go to, I want to enjoy my company, and I don't want to wear myself out the day before or the day of getting ready for them, but I mean, this that's my choice. If you all want to, that'll be your choice, right? around a bit because I can't reach this side very well. Just make sure you got your cake covered and that it looks appetizing. Always work with clean hands. more icing in here. I'm going to use it all. Because I can. Right? Probably could have um, gotten this a little bit thinner. But it sure looks delicious, guys. All right, I'm going to round up Sam. Then I'll bring you back. All right. He's back. I found him. I'm going to cut into this cake. 
get him a nice big piece because I know that's what he wants. First piece is always the hardest to get out, guys. But I'm going to do my best. I didn't cut it quite big enough to, to get it out nice. I'll tell you what, I'll just cut a bigger piece off the other side. There you go. Yeah. Did I tell you my, <clears throat> my cake took 30 minutes in this pan? Might be different in your oven, but that's what it was in mine. Whoop. See, I didn't quite get all the way through, did I? Mm-mm. Looks pretty, though. Look at that. All right, let me put it on a plate for him. It cut real good. I just got too deep. Too deep for it. I've never had an ice cream cake other than a frozen ice cream cake. Wait, wait just a minute. Let me get over there. I can't wait long. I've been waiting for hours. All right. Go ahead. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. This, you've hit it out of the park with this. Did you get any nuts or pieces of chocolate? Yeah. It's delicious. I, I, it, you know, I anticipate it being delicious, and I was right. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I like that butter icing too. You like it? The cake is so moist, and yeah, it, it's delicious. Y'all love this. Well, they can use their own. Um choice of cakes and ice cream ice cream and and uh, toppings they don't have to make a well this is buttercream icing they this can is an ice. excellent combination right here like it like like is not the word <laughs> okay I think I'll do my like David do the happy dance but I don't feel like getting up oh okay so I'm just going to sit here and eat it. I've already poured it. It's delicious. Well, what yeah. else have you got for us? Son? Well, the, you hit it out of the park with this. Folks, you need to try this. Well, I could tell them about the time I was stuck in traffic in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. I mean bad traffic. It wasn't moving. This guy came to my window and knocked on the window. So I rolled it down. I said, what's happening? He said, well, terrorists are holding Congress hostage in their building and demanding a hundred million dollars. And if it's not paid, they're going to douse them all with gasoline, set them on fire. I said, goodness. And he said, what we're doing is going around from car to car asking for donations. I said, well, how much are people giving on the average? He said, roughly about a gallon. <laughs> and <laughs> so I just rolled the window up and left. This cake is fantastic. Mm, mm, mm. This is actually perfect icing for it, in my opinion. But that ice cream just makes it so smooth and... <laughs> I kind of hate you made it though. I probably I have a hard time not eating it. I'll just send some to Barbara. Yeah. Well, there's right, a lot guys. there. Hmm? There's a lot of it there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you everybody for coming in and spending part of your day with me. I hope this suits your fancy for game day or any time. Really, it's a good cake. I just chose it because it was easy. And um, I appreciate you coming in.
give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So until next time, you all take care and God bless every one of you.